All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 banner will be dropping on Global in uh, roughly 10 hours from now. So in this video, I want to give you guys a full preview of this release from the uh, banner to the animations to the unit details to help you guys decide whether you want to spend your hard earned dragon stones to try to pull them or instead save those stones for something else in the future. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And before we get into the banner, let's pop over to the Dokkan Twitter page here and check out their animations. Now, um, we could watch them in English on the global page, but for some reason, they never put the music with the animations and it's just a lot less hype. So we'll start with the Japanese animations first and then we'll take a look at the English ones as well after. So starting with the JP animations, let me just pause the music and uh, yeah, enjoy guys. <laughs> And there you have it guys, the uh, animations for Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Of course, we got Gamma, uh, Gamma 2 first because he appeared first in the movie. And uh, everything about it is just perfect, man. I mean, the animations look amazing because they're straight from the movie and the music is uh, on point as well. And that's why I decided to show you guys the Japanese animations first because the music really does make a huge difference you know so uh yeah those are the animations they they look awesome of course i've seen them multiple multiple times now but i love them and uh, if you guys are curious we will play the english animations as well if you don't care then feel free to skip ahead about you know a minute and a half but uh here we go the animations in english i'm dr hedo's greatest creation and i'm awesome a superhero! I shall take on the challenge if you insist on interfering. I'll show you who's the superhero! Yeah, so like I said, it's just really not the same without the 
the music, the OST behind it, but it still looks awesome, of course. Uh, now, the reason <laughs> that I was laughing is not because, you know, the voice acting was bad, necessarily. But it's just always, I don't know, English is always a little bit more goofy uh, compared to the Japanese voice acting. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I definitely prefer the Japanese voice acting to the English as with most animes, right? So um, there you go. Yeah, those are the animations for the gammas. Now let's pop over to the banner. And uh, this banner, if it stays the same, which I think it will when it drops on global, is not the best. <laughs> it's not the best banner, I gotta be honest. Um, we got two new gammas, of course, on the same banner, which I like a lot because they totally could have done them on separate banners and uh, it would have made it harder to, you know, pull them both within a certain number of stones. But now, because they're on the same banner, you have a much better chance of getting both gammas, you know, uh, in your summons, right? So we have the two gammas along with five uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive SSRs. And the issue with the other featured unit is that they're really old. They're really, really old, guys. I mean, all of them, with the exception of the androids, I think have been out for three plus years, um, most likely. I mean, it's gotta be something like that, right? Like Broly is mad old, this guy's mad old, Piccolo is super old, this guy's pretty damn old. So while like the androids, the uh, Tech 18 and 17, still pretty solid, and uh, you know, Gohan is pretty solid as well, actually. And you know, like this Fizz Broly can still be good for World Tournament and other events where you can attack all or you need to attack all with a lot of enemies. Um, still good for, for farming purposes, of course. Uh, it's just not the most inspiring banner, guys. It's not the most exciting set of featured units. So if the banner does remain the same, uh, it's pretty rough. <laughs> so I would give it like a six out of 10 um maybe 6.5 because the gammas are really really good but overall value here outside of the gammas is pretty low the overall value of this banner is quite low so keep that in mind when you're you know deciding to summon or not like i said um you got a couple of pretty decent units but all of them are really old so if you're like a long-term player you're definitely gonna have most of them, um, if not like many of them rainbowed, right? So that is a bit of a problem, in my opinion. So yeah, not a great banner, but the gammas are great. So speaking of the gammas, let's uh, talk about them. Let's go over their details. So we got gamma one and gamma two. Um, basically, they are good for different purposes. Uh, in my opinion, like gamma one is one of the best defenders in the entire game while still being able to put out some respectable damage, right? It's not like he doesn't hit hard. He definitely can hit hard, but defense is his main thing. That's his like calling card, right? Whereas the Gamma 2, not as good defensively for sure, but he is one of the highest damage output units in the entire game. One of the hardest hitting, like not maybe for like a single super, but because he supers so many times and each super is, you know, pretty uh, crazy. Like the attack stat for each super is gonna be like really high. Um, he is definitely one of the best damage dealers in the game. So with that said, let's start with the details for Gamma 1 first. Uh, leader skill is movie heroes or artificial life forms, category key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the accelerated battle or worthy rivals category. Super attack gamma blaster raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and passive is activates the entrance animation upon entry once only and then attack and defense or sorry attack plus 50% and guards all attacks for four turns from start of turn and then attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 
and reduces damage received by 10% up to 50% with each attack received. Medium chance of uh, performing a critical hit starting from the turn in which the character receives the 5th attack in battle. All allies keep plus 1 and defense plus 30%. Great chance of evading unarmed super attacks directed at the character and countering with tremendous power. So this guy uh, basically gets a ton of defense and then also gets 50% damage reduction. So he is one of the best slot 1 units in the entire game. Of course, in the beginning, he's not getting the damage reduction for the first turn, but he is getting guaranteed guard. So while you're building that damage reduction, he's still going to be getting guard for the first four turns. And uh, like I said, damage wise, he's not going to be like putting out the craziest damage, but his single super, that one super attack, uh, will still be quite high. He still gets a lot of attack. And then of course, with hidden potential, you can get an additional super as well. But once again, damage is not his main thing. His defense though is off the charts. He is, as, like I said, one of the best slot one units in the entire game, right? So that's the passive. Uh, links are Android Assault, Cold Judgment, our, uh, our, our army, Tracking Speed, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Androids, Movie Heroes, Artificial Life Forms, Horde the Arrival, Special Pose, Defenders of Justice, and Accelerated Battle. So that is the Gamma 1. Oh, on top of that, He's getting up to 13,563 defense at rainbow status, which uh, is super high. That is a crazy defense stat, so that also helps with his uh, defensive capabilities, his tanking, right? And if you guys want some quick maths here, his additional boosts are calculated separately for a total attack boost of 500% or attack plus 400% starting from the fifth turn. When performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 800% or 650% starting from the 5th turn, and defense plus 460% starting from the turn in which the character receives fifth, uh, the 5th attack in battle. So those are just some additional calculations right there. And uh, yeah, that is the Gamma 1. Let's pop over to the Gamma 2 now. And as I said, this guy is a much more offensively focused unit and he is just off the charts man when it comes to damage so later skill movie heroes androids or special pose category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent plus an additional hp attack and defense plus 30 percent for characters who also belong to the accelerated uh, accelerated battle or worthy rivals category super attack is gamma blaster raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and passive is activates the entrance animation upon entry once only. <clears throat> and then defense plus 50% and launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack for four turns from start of turn. Attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 100% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% up to 50% with each attack performed. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack starting from the turn in which the character performs the fifth attack in battle. All allies keep plus two and attack plus 30% and high chance of nullifying key blast super attacks directed at the character. And links are the innocents, Android Assault, RR Army, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Fierce Battle, and categories are Androids, Movie Heroes, Artificial Life Forms, Worthy Rivals, Special Pose, Defenders of Justice, and Accelerated Battle. And uh, some more calculations here. His additional boosts when attacking are calculated separately for a total of attack plus 460% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 740% and defense plus 500% or defense plus 400% starting from the fifth turn starting from the turn in which the character performs the fifth attack in battle. So he's just putting out tons of supers. Each super is hitting extremely, extremely hard. And of course, 50% chance to crit. Um, you know, that nice support, key plus two, attack plus 30% for all allies, high chance to nullify key blast super attacks as well, can definitely save your life. And... Uh, 
the guy is just a beast. He's just a beast. Um, now, defensively, he's definitely not nearly as effective as uh, Gamma 1, but I wouldn't say he's a bad defender. I just think he's a solid defender with extremely high damage capabilities, whereas uh, the Gamma 1 is a solid damage dealer with extremely high defensive capabilities. And of course, as you would imagine, these two paired together make one of the most deadly rotations in the entire game. Uh, arguably the best rotation in the entire game, actually. I'm not really sure if I can commit to that, but uh, it's got to be up there, man. It's got to be like top three best rotations in the entire game, if not the best, right? So, um... These guys are monsters. These guys are are definitely monsters, and that essentially does it for the release preview for the Gammas. Um, if you guys want my recommendation, my opinion on whether I feel like these guys are worth the summon, whether these guys are worth your stones, which is essentially why we came here, right? Um, I do think that you guys should make that decision for yourselves, but my opinion is that these guys are so good and so fun, and if, especially if you enjoyed the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, it's kind of hard to, to skip this banner, you know? Like, of course, there's the fact that the banner is not very good. The banner is definitely rough, but these guys are just amazing, man, and who knows when they're gonna come back, right? We we don't know, like, when they'll return to, to Global after this release, so it could be a while, and if you want to use them right now, uh, especially for the Cell Max event, you know, the Cell Max event, uh, having Gamma 2 is uh, definitely a huge advantage, you know? So, um, yeah, I would say, I would say Summon. I would say Summon. This is just too good to skip. These guys are too good to skip, so. And it's not like we have anything too crazy around the corner. I mean, we do have Trunks and Vegeta. Um, we do have like Zamasu, uh, we have Golden Frieza, but even then I think these guys are at least as good, if not better, than those guys. So like, yeah, I think it's a summon, guys. I, I think it's a summon. I think you should feel okay about dropping a decent amount of stones on, on this banner. And I do like the fact that at least like, even though it's not a great banner, both Gammas are on the same banner, so you could potentially pull them at the same time, right? So, yeah, you know what? That's that's all I gotta say, guys. That is my recommendation. I think it's a summon. I think they are definitely worth your stones because they're incredible. You know, they're like top five units, top 10 units at worst in the game, especially Gamma 1 because of the this crazy defense that keeps you alive in like all events. Um, yeah, that's my recommendation. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the Gammas, what you guys plan to do when the banner drops, how many stones do you have, how many stones are you going to be spending, and of course, I will be summoning as well on uh, my account, so stay tuned for the summoning video, and guys, hopefully this video helped you a little bit in making that summoning decision, and as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.